What up, everybody? It's your boy A. A. Ron coming to you once again from First and Faithful. Wanted to give you all some updates regarding 49 roster moves. COVID 19 opt out deadline was today. Also, a signing. Before we get into that, please do me a huge favor click that little subscribe button, click that bell icon. Really appreciate all the support you guys have been showing the videos. Let's get into some news. Now, the big news uh, as far as signings go is Dion Jordan is coming to the team. Niners have added him for a little added pass rush depth. Um, you know, not a bad signing. I know contract details have been released yet. I assume it's going to be a more incentive-laden contract, kind of what Jordan Reed signed. Not a bad move by the team with D Ford and DJ, DJ Jones having their injury history. You know, makes sense to kind of add pass rush depth where you can get it, especially if you can get it cheap. You know, maybe someone's a little more motivated, cheap get him on the team which brings me to today's question i want you to leave me a comment down below let me know how many sacks you think deon jordan will have with the niners assuming he is on the team for the season how many sacks he will record i'm gonna go with four four uh that's gonna be my number i just think with the amount of attention that the rest of the players on that d-line get from opposing offenses you know, he has a chance to get some, you know, maybe easier one-on-ones and also maybe just some cleanup sacks. So that's my number. I'm going to go with four. Like I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how many sacks you think he will get. Uh, also, uh, with today's opt-out day, Sean Coleman opted out, uh, you know, backup offensive lineman that they had traded uh, for from the Browns. Travis Benjamin also opted out earlier this week. Neither one of those are big losses. Uh, neither one of them were guaranteed to make the roster. They were more just, you know, deep depth pieces. So not big losses for the team. You know, that's obviously great news. You know, you're trying to run back, make another Super Bowl run. Uh, this could obviously have hurt if, you know, a bigger name or someone way more important had opted out. So it was nice to see that Niners kind of got out of that unscathed. Other news, uh, DJ Reed, who was weighed by the Niners, was picked up by, of course, the Seahawks. You know, they obviously, uh, I, I wonder if it's more just to kind of get a peek into the Niners' defensive playbook, or it's because they actually want DJ Reed. Who knows? I know the Niners were hoping he would make it through the waivers, uh, considering the severity of his injury, and then they could have re-signed him and, you know, kind of put him on the reserve squad. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. It, um... You know, it's just kind of how it is sometimes. Uh, this week, also, we got uh, to see the players for the first time uh, doing a couple of press conferences. Sherman and Jimmy were on Tuesday. Warner and Mostert were Wednesday. Today, uh, Thursday, we got Trent Williams and Nick Bosa. Great to see Trent Williams up there. He's a mountain of a man. He's a huge, huge, huge human being it's it's incredible how big he is but then when you watch some of his tape and kind of some of his workouts you see how athletic he is i don't think anybody that large should be that athletic it's uh, it looks and feels like a cheat code uh but he seemed you know really just happy to be in the building i think coming from washington washington formerly known as whatever they are now Coming from that, maybe the losing culture and just some of the just dysfunction in Washington, coming to Santa Clara, to the Niners, who have, you know, built something, you know, pretty special and be a part of that. You can just tell he's just really happy to be a part of that. So it was just great to see. Nick looks jacked, even though he's wearing like this uh, black kind of sweater thing. You can see right here. I mean, he looks, you know, he looks... He looks built. He talked that he had taken full advantage of the access to his trainer this offseason. Obviously, last season, preparing for the draft and interviews and all that, combines. You know, it's not as, uh, you know, didn't have as much access to him this season had, or this offseason had the whole offseason access to him. Took full advantage. He said, you're going to, you know, see it on the field. So, pretty pumped for that. Pretty pumped to see Williams versus Bosa. And, you know, the old saying, iron sharpens iron. You know, they should... You know, have a great opportunity to learn from each other and, you know, hopefully use that knowledge against the opponent. So I, I think it's just, you know, nothing but wins for this team. 
with having guys like that on, on both sides that can really sharpen each other and then you get to unleash that onto the opposing teams. So uh, great to see. First day of padded practice should be August 17th, so about 10 days from now. Should be fun to see the guys out there. I'm not sure how much media access there will be. Uh, usually there's a lot of media access. Obviously you have fans, the whole nines. With COVID, I expect that that will be heavily limited. I'm sure we'll still get some videos here and there, but it will probably be um, just more from the 49ers themselves, you know, through probably 49ers.com. But still excited to see the guys get out there. Um, you know, knock on wood, you just, honestly, you, your number one is, yeah, they're just healthy. Uh, be great to see Jet out there um, from what we've heard so far. He's looked pretty good. Looks, you know, looks quick. So it'll be good to see him. Heard Taylor, you know, Trent Williams for the first time. Uh, I'll be doing a whole series on uh, camp battles. You know, like the top three to five battles I'm really looking forward to. Uh, that will start this weekend. Kind of lead right up to that first pad of practice. So definitely look out for that. But that's all I got for today. Thank you as always for watching. This has been First and Faithful. I'm A. Aaron. Deuces. Deuces. Have a good one.